this is this is how the appropriate age gap should work. Okay, when you're in your 20s, you should not be more than two maximum three years older or have a two to th more than a two to three year age difference between you and the person that you're dating. It's really that simple. If you're a teenager, same thing. It shouldn't be more than two years between the age of the person, you and the person you're dating. Two. If you're 16, you shouldn't be dating anybody over 18. If you're 13, you shouldn't be dating anybody over 15. No, what, what 16 year old is out there checking for 13 year olds? They're weird and they're creepy. Okay. If you're 20, you shouldn't be dating anybody over 23, okay? A 24-year-old should not be checking for no 20-year-old. When I was 24, I was not checking for no 20-year-olds. 20-year-olds were like little children to me when I was 24. When you're 24, you should not be dating nobody over 25, sorry, not 25, 27, 28, okay? What does a 29-year-old want with a 24-year-old? Hmm? What? Because I know at 29, I was not checking for no 24-year-olds or 22-year-olds. What does a 28-year-old have in common with a 20-year-old fresh as baby? She even said it in the video. She can't even drink legally. When you hit 30 and above, you know, we can break that down. That's a different story. But even still, when you hit 30 and above, it's like anything more than 20, 10, 10 to 20 years is crazy. More than a 10-year age gap Yes, we have the May-Decembers. Okay, that's fine. But that should only be happening every blue moon. <laughs>